Number 10. Captain America made his first appearance in Captain America Comics No. 1, which was published by Timely Comics, which later became Marvel Comics, in March 1941. He was created by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. In this issue, Captain America, Steve Rogers is depicted punching the German leader in the face on the cover reflecting the character's role as a patriotic symbol during World War II. Number 9. Captain America's first shield was a triangular-shaped shield made of steel, depicted in his debut appearance in Captain America Comics No. 1. This shield had three distinct points and was used by Captain America in his early adventures. However, it was later replaced by the iconic circular shield that has become synonymous with the character. The circular shield, which is made of vibranium, was introduced in Captain America Comics No. 2 and has since become one of the most recognizable symbols associated with Captain America. Captain America's shield was created by metallurgist Myron McLean, who had been commissioned by the U.S. government to create an indestructible armor material to aid the war effort. McLean experiments with vibranium. During one of his experiments to fuse vibranium with an experimental steel alloy, McLean falls asleep and awakens to find that the resulting alloy had been set in a tank hatch mold. However, he was not able to duplicate it. Because as McLean described it, some unknown factor was present during the experiment that he could not identify. The shield was then painted to become Captain America's weapon and symbol. McLean would later attempt to recreate the shield's metal to no avail his experiments instead eventually yielding the supermetal adamantium, while adamantium has been portrayed as practically indestructible. McLean said was no match for the mysterious proto-adamantium shield. Number 8. Captain America possesses superhuman strength as a result of the super soldier serum and Vita Ray treatment he underwent. His strength allows him to perform feats of athleticism and combat prowess beyond the capabilities of ordinary humans. While the exact extent of his strength varies in different comic book storylines, he is typically depicted as being able to lift or press several times his own body weight, making him one of the strongest non-superhuman characters in the Marvel Universe. Number 7 Captain America made his first film appearance in a 1944 serial titled Captain America. The serial consisted of 15 chapters and starred Dick Purcell as Captain America. Although it was produced during World War II, the storyline did not closely follow the comic book character's origin. Number 6 In the original Avengers lineup in the comics, Captain America was not one of the founding members. The founding members were Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Ant-Man, later known as Giant Man, and the Wasp. Captain America was introduced to the Avengers in issue number 4 of the comics which was published in 1964 where he was found in ice after battling the Red Skull. He was revived by the Avengers and joined the team. Number 5 While Captain America's name might suggest a strong nationalist stance, his character is more nuanced than that. While he is certainly patriotic and embodies American values, he is also depicted as a symbol of hope, justice, and freedom for people around the world. His commitment to fighting for what is right even when it goes against the government's orders, demonstrates his dedication to universal principles rather than blind allegiance to a specific nation or ideology. Number 4 Captain America has wielded Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, on two significant occasions in Marvel Comics. The first instance was in the Fear Itself storyline, where he proved himself worthy during a battle against the Serpent, the God of Fear. The second time was in the Avengers, Age of Ultron comic series, where he again lifted Mjolnir during a crucial moment in battle. These moments highlight Captain America's exceptional courage, integrity, and worthiness as a hero. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number 3 Captain America has faced off against a wide array of villains throughout his storied career. Some of his most iconic adversaries include Red Skull, Captain America's arch-nemesis Baron Zemo, a recurring foe who has a personal vendetta against Captain America Crossbones, a skilled mercenary and assassin who has clashed with Captain America numerous times Winter Soldier, while initially a brainwashed ally, the Winter Soldier has been a formidable adversary for Captain America Hydra, the terrorist organization has been a persistent threat to Captain America and the world 
Taskmaster, a skilled martial artist and mimic who has crossed paths with Captain America on several occasions. Thanos, the Mad Titan has posed a significant threat to Captain America in the entire Marvel Universe. Serpent Society, a group of snake-themed villains who have tangled with Captain America and the Avengers. Bedrock the Leaper, a French mercenary and master of Savat who has clashed with Captain America in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ultron, the sentient robot and Avengers villain, has challenged Captain America and his teammates in battles for the fate of the world. These are just a few examples, but Captain America's rogues gallery is vast and diverse, reflecting the breadth of challenges he has faced as a hero. Number 2 At the time of his creation, the character faced some backlash from individuals who did not support the idea of a superhero openly opposing Germany and their regime. Joe Simon and Jack Kirby the creators of Captain America, indeed received hate mail and threats from some individuals who were angered by the character's portrayal as a German fighting hero. This backlash even extended to the point where personal security guards were hired to protect the creators at the timely comics offices. Despite this initial resistance, Captain America ultimately became one of the most beloved and enduring superheroes in American pop culture history. Number 1. The Shield, created by MLJ Comics, now known as Archie Comics, debuted in 1940, the year before Captain America's first appearance in 1941. Both characters share a patriotic theme and fought against the Germans during World War II. While Captain America went on to become one of the most iconic superheroes in American comic book history, The Shield holds a significant place as one of the earliest examples of a star-spangled superhero. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.